Welcome to day two of Cybos 2024, where thousands of delegates have gathered to enjoy a week packed with expert insights and fascinating debates. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from yesterday's opening plenary. Well, hello and welcome to, to Cybos. This is the first time we've hosted Cybos in Beijing. And Sam, I, I was thinking about this earlier. Beijing as a city brings together East and West, past and future, tradition and innovation. Cybos is a bit like the Olympics of finance, with delegates from all over the world coming together in that same spirit of global collaboration to explore how finance can be used as a force for good, and where a shared pursuit for excellence means both competition and mutual respect. Opening up is a defining feature of Chinese modernization, and Beijing's high-quality development would not be possible without the support and the participation of friends both at home and abroad. Interlinking cross-border payment and settlement is an important part of financial services and an important area for financial opening up. Our network can be used to exchange, to transfer tokenized value across public and private blockchains, as well as uh, to interlink CBDCs globally with SWIFT as a single window, creating an end-to-end -end tracking, transparency, traceability, and trust across all transactions, whatever form they take, uh, the networks they use, or how they settle. If we think of SWIFT as a movement, then we can all pile in to that movement because we have that common interest in making sure that a fragmented and fragmenting world stays connected. Seeing every one of you here today in Beijing coming from all corners of the globe, is actually a testament uh, to the strong integrated financial ecosystem that we've built over the years and that has been an essential foundation for decades of economic growth. Day one also saw the opening of the InnoTribe stage. Towards such unconventional connectivities, what I call elemental empathy. Elsewhere, some of the main challenges and opportunities facing the industry were discussed. The great demand markets of the world are about to change in a really fundamental way. And those emerging markets are going to become a huge buyer of goods just because of sheer population weight compared to what they are today. And we better think about how we're going to give those people access. 24 by 7 payments and collections, 24 by 7 liquidity to support that flow. 24 by 7 working capital. That is a transformational change which all transaction banks have to really think about because that's how commerce will get done. That's how commerce will get enabled. You know, we're considering pilots in a few of our markets, but generally it's really around uh, enabling faster payments at the right speed, at the right cost, um, and ensuring that there's finality of settlement without compromising on the aspects related to security. AI being AI, and especially Gen AI, there is also this thing about hallucination. So how do we get there? So our goal is um, put in guardrails and identify pilot ca use cases first. We think that uh, if we manage to tokenize those assets for uh, our traditional clients, we can as well tap those new types of digital, native, uh, very young clients uh, to fractionalize those assets and to distribute them and open new distribution channels. I think what is truly key to leveraging these technology is not just to have one institution working in isolation, but for jurisdictions to work together. Fortunately, a multilateral effort is already underway with the active support of institutions like SWIFT, BIS, and others. There is still plenty more to come at Cybos today. Yes, lots to do, lots to learn, and lots to enjoy. Have a great day.